Hi, Luke Caruso for Surfcasters Journal. And uh, I wanted to take a moment to give you a, a quick tip. This year, um, out on the beach, I've been watching quite a few guys. They take their rods and they throw them in the back of the pickup. And here they are bouncing along on the beach. Um, this rod bouncing all over the place out of the back of the truck. I recently went to a friend's shop and he showed me some rods that a customer of his had brought in. A GSB, Lama Glass GSB, 136 1MH. And any of you guys who throw chunks know the rod is like a telephone pole. He went out, went fishing, he cast it the first time and the rod folded over. And he always brings two rods. He put the rod in the truck, came back with the second rod, cast it, that rod folded over in the exact same spot. He couldn't figure out what the heck happened. So he brought him in, took a look at it, and turns out he had him back in his tailgate. This tailgate has a, a protector on it. It's hard plastic. So if your, your rod is bouncing, it's still gonna have an adverse effect on the graphite. In his case, he had diamond plate, which was worse. Both rods folded because he put stress on the, that one part of the blank. You can go to Home Depot and for like two bucks, you can get the half inch insulation, the pipe insulation for a half inch, small stuff. Cause you two bucks, cause you may be six bucks if you buy a long length of it. All you gotta do is cut a length, rip it open cause it's a closed seam and put it on your rod where your rod's gonna be rubbing against the uh, truck. This way, if it bounces around, not a big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna protect your rod. The other thing I see guys do is cause they don't want it bouncing all over the place, is they take the rod and they put it in the truck and then they wedge it into the corner over here. This is a nightmare over here. You got all kinds of sharp edges. It's an accident waiting to happen. Do yourself a favor, spend a few bucks, and protect the rod. You, you spend enough money getting a custom rod. Even a factory rod is gonna cost you a few hundred bucks, and it's kind of silly to not spend two bucks on a piece of foam insulation.